So now instead of doing sine functions or square root functions, they use x squared. And so they want to know, oh, wait, what, what should happen here if I see that? So let's just take a look at these graphs. Um, let me graph the f squared, or the x squared, excuse me, graph in red. Let's take a look at it. If I were to make a table, here's what I would see. I think that's nine, isn't it? Two, four, six, eight, nine, yeah. So this would be the <laughs> x squared graph. Oopsie, that's not right. My bad. Put my dot in the wrong spot. That's better. Okay, so there's the red graph. And if I did the opposite on the outside, or in other words, this thing right here, so I'd have negative x squared, what I see is a graph that looks kind of the same, but it's just flipped upside down. <coughs> Sorry, it just takes me a little while to count that. Bless you. What should happen? Reflected over oops, x axis. And we graph those on the picture over there. Am I going too fast? Okay, so I think it might be a good idea if we graph um, number six on the same graph as we did number five. So we had that red graph, which was the original x squared graph already there. And now this time, let's, let's put on um, f of opposite of x. And if we do that, what we should see is a reflection over the y-axis. Oh my goodness, this is going to be nuts though. So the point over here now goes over here. This point now goes over here. This point 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 goes over here. What do you notice? It's the same, it's the same graph. You can't tell the difference. It's the same. So it covers up the red. So it's a reflection over the y-axis, but in essence, it's the same graph as f of x equals x squared. Because when you square a negative, positive. positive. And that's why. So it didn't really change what it looked like. Kind of weird. <coughs> True for even functions, or like x squared, x to the fourth, x6, kind of thing. Kind of a weird deal. All right, in number seven, we finally deal with a square root. And under the square root, I see a plus three. The square root's kind of like a grouping symbol. <laughs> so if you remember, like off to the side here, a normal square root graph looks like this. But I see this new one. And this new one is talking about x plus 3. So what happened to my square root graph from the original looking square root graph? It went what? It did not go up 3. It went to the left 3. Stuff that's on the inside moves left and right. Stuff on the outside goes up and down. Because it's on the inside, it's the opposite of what you would think. So it says plus 3, you'd think maybe it's right, but nope, it's actually left. So this graph actually looks like this. It starts here and then goes. Now, if you actually want to figure out a table for this, you could actually graph in a table, and I'm going to pick some very select points. So here's x and f of x. And if I pick out negative 3 for x, then I get 0 for the f of x. If I picked out a 1 for the x, and I put in 1 there, I get 1 plus 3, which is 4. <coughs> 4, take the square root as 2, so I'm at 1, 2. 
And then if I wanted to get a nine so I could take the square root, I'd put in a six. So at six, I'll pop a three because that'd be the square root of nine. And you really don't have to know how to do this right at this moment, but I'm just trying to graph it accurately. So that's six comma three, three, six comma three. So it's over here. And this is kind of what my square root graph looks like now that it's been moved three to the left. So that's the graph, the draw part. <coughs> There's some water out in the hallway, Grant, if you need some water. Graph the reflection over the y-axis. So the y-axis is my mirror. I'm going to take that graph and flip it over the y-axis. So the point that was negative 3, 0 over the y-axis now becomes positive 3, 0. The point that was 1, 2 now becomes negative 1, 2. The point that was 6, 3 now becomes negative 6, 3. And then I draw my graph, and this is the reflection over the y-axis. Now, if I'm reflecting over the y-axis, then that means I had to change the Thank you. Could I, we be a little more specific? Inside. The change is on the inside. So this is going to say that my function is going to be the square root of, and I change the x to the opposite of x, plus 3. So in number 7, I don't know how they ask their questions, whatever, but like here's the new equation, and the graph is already on there. Number eight, we're going to do something completely different. Um, in the beginning of the notes, I talked about that you could reflect over a line, and I said there's usually...